The global population has increased uh, rapidly uh, over the last century in particular. Um, as you said, uh, it, it was, well, it reached about around 2 billion people around 1930. Um, you know, it took hundreds of thousands of years to get to the first billion sometime in the early 1800s. And then another hundred years to add a second billion. And then from there, each successive billion uh, happened in less and less time. So the third billion happened in about 30 years, uh, the fourth billion in about 14 more years, and the fifth billion, uh, which was achieved in 1987, that was uh, just 13 years to, to, to add the fifth billion. And uh, most recently, I think we're adding another billion uh, people in about 11 years. Uh, so it's... Um, uh, that's one illustration of, of the explosion of growth, if you will. Um, but that's also illustrated by looking at the growth rates, that the, uh, the growth rate uh, increased uh, at a certain point in the human history. In particular, dur during the 20th century, it reached a peak of almost 2% per year in the late 1960s uh, and has actually been declining since then. So it's, it's, not, it's not really exponential growth in the, uh, in the classical sense of what exponential growth would be. Exponential growth would mean that you have a constant growth rate, that you have growth at a constant rate over time. And what we've had actually is growth at a varying rate, and that rate went up um, over the course of the 20th century, it reached a peak in the late 1960s, and then has been coming down ever since. And we anticipate that the growth rate will continue to decline uh, over the course of the 21st century, so that by the end of this century, uh, global population will essentially stop increasing and may even uh, start to decline in size.